Hi guys, so while resetting your PC, if you're getting an error like there was a problem resetting your PC, no changes were made. So in this video, I'll show you the quick steps to fix this kind of error. So the first method is that you need to enable the Windows recovery environment. For that, first I will open the command prompt and I will open this command prompt as an administrator. So run as administrator, click yes. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute few commands. So the first command is going to be this one, reagent C space uh, backslash info. This is going to show me whether the recovery environment, Windows recovery environment is enabled or not, enabled or disabled. So it is already enabled. Now what I'm going to do is first I will disable this and then I will enable this again. So just execute uh, this command and uh, control C and control V just copy and paste I'm going to provide all these commands in the below description all you need to do is uh, just copy and paste now I'm going to execute the first command to check whether the Windows recovery environment is disabled or not info okay look it is disabled now is the time to execute this command to enable the recovery environment just copy and paste the command over here and now this is going to enable the environment again. Just wait, uh, operation successful. Now let's see the status. It is enabled right now. So after this, uh, I'm going to execute my second command, which is SFC space backslash scan now. This command is going to repair all the corrupt system files. So just copy and paste the command over here and press enter and just wait until this command is uh, completed. So it will take some time around, maybe it can take around 10 to 15 minutes. So wait until this is done, 100% complete. So this command has been completed. Now I'm going to just close this window and now it's the time to restart my computer. So I will see you after the restart. So I've done the restart and I hope after performing all these steps, uh, you will not get this error again. So now is the time to reset the PC. So to reset, I will go in the search bar and I will type reset this PC under system settings. So go over here and then after that, you will go to the advanced startup option. You will click restart now and then you will click restart now. And after that, you will just wait and you will wait for the blue screen and it will take some time to to come just wait and be patient so it has displayed me the blue screen uh, right now i'm going to click troubleshoot and then i will click reset this pc and then i will click keep my file since uh, i want to uh, keep all the files in my system otherwise it will remove everything if i select the second option so right now i don't want to reset my pc uh, I hope after performing all these steps, uh, you will reset your PC without getting any error. Uh, at the end, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.